Hey guys, today we're going to do an unboxing of the reverse osmosis system from iSpring. Uh, so let's open her up here. Okay, let's see what we got. All right. Open. All right. So the first thing on the top is the uh, information from 123 Filter, which is the manufacturer of the iSpring brand. Set that off to the side. Okay, now we've got three cartons here. Looks like we've got this one is the easiest to pull out. Okay, this looks like a set of filters. We'll set that over to the side. <clears throat> we've got this one, which is it says it's the the 5 micron uh, PPF micron filter. Mm -hmm. Set that one over there. Okay. And this, I think, is the tank. Uh, yep, that's the RO tank. And over here is probably the RO system. All right, I'll be right back and we will unbox all these other individual boxes. All right, so inside the big box for the reverse osmosis system, you've got a couple smaller boxes. You've got the big tank, you've got all your filters, and you've got your main system. So let's go ahead and start opening them up. Set this one off to the yes. side. Okay, go ahead, pull that one open for me. There we are. Inside of the smaller odd bo shaped box is, let's open this one up. It looks like our RO filter, our RO, RO element. Here we are. Put that over here. We've got a bag with uh, looks like the this would be the faucet head in there. We've got we've got the parts kit. Another parts kit. We've got leftover parts kit, and we got our filter wrenches. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, and we'll move this one out of the way. Those things right there. These oh, it's looks terrible. like it also comes with a little bit of Teflon tape there. Just like that. All right. Next big box we have for filters. You've got your filter elements. You've got your filter parts. And you've got your tubing. We're going to leave them in there for now. And over here, we have our main RO system. So let's open this up. Let's open this up. So now we open it. And then inside here, we have the rest of the system. You got your mineral filter, you got your uh, casing for it. Looks like there's a power adapter of some sort, I'm guessing. Yes. And everything else. Alright guys, I'm going to get this all set up and I'll give you a brief overview of it. So I just got the RO system installed and I've had it running for about a week now. Uh, things are going well. I've got the six, uh, six stage going on there. You can see the three stages back in there. So move my light around. And we've got uh, the booster pump and three stages up top. Uh, RO's in the back. So for me and my setup, when I have to replace the RO filter, I'm going to have to pull the whole thing out of here. Uh, thankfully, the hoses are long enough that the uh, expansion chamber there can uh, sit right there. However, it is a little bit large for my my. Uh, kitchen sink as you can see it's it does fill up quite a bit of the sink uh, sink space under there, but um, Yeah, overall I think it's definitely uh, it's definitely eliminated all the chlorine taste from our water uh, all the Yeah, just the all the ickiness in our water uh, and taste really good uh, love the flavor um, My wife and kids are now drinking more water which is always a good thing. Uh, overall, I didn't have any problems installing it. It went on pretty quickly. Uh, one issue I did have is uh, right there, this 
gray fitting here uh, is dri uh, dripping a little bit when the pump runs. So I'm keeping an eye on it. Uh, could potentially maybe turn that one more turn, uh, tighten that up. We'll see. I have contacted the uh, iSpring and they said that they're willing to uh, get me some more hardware out to uh, potentially fix that. So uh, we'll keep you informed on that. If there's any questions you guys have, let me know. Uh, right now, everything seems to be working really well and the water tastes awesome. All right, guys, take care. Leave any questions or comments in the, uh, and I will get back to them.